You ready? I, I mean, you wanna stay this there? is the time y'all gave me, but if y'all gonna, if I can do more. You want to do more? <laughs> Look, don't tease them. <laughs> Yo, make some noise for Nas I one got time. the catalog. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Angie Why don't you take a minute? I think they, they're going to change your mic and give you a second. We're going to give Nas a, like, a couple minutes to just to chill out after that phenomenal performance. Wait, real quick. I want to salute you and you and you. There were certain people up here that I, you knew every single word to every single song. So you too, you too. Salute to everybody, all the real, thorough, long-time Nas fans in the building. Um, yo, he got so many classics, so many joints, it's so crazy. So we're going to give him a minute uh, to just get himself together, and he's going to come out, we're going to have a little conversation. Once again, I want to welcome everybody to iHeartRadio Live. Um, this is one of our first events with Verizon. I can't thank Verizon enough for making this happen in New York tonight, giving us Nas' first performance of this new album. Um, like I said, there's going to be a lot of these events, but this is, I mean, there's no better way to set it off, right? So, uh, again, thank you to Verizon and the whole iHeartRadio family. Um, and Nas is going to come out in a couple minutes. Y'all good? I can stall. What y'all want to talk about? You want me to rap? No way! You see how he set me up? That was a setup. What's that? What is it? For Nas? All right, while I have you here, while we wait for Nas, I'm going to put this on the side for him, but I promise I'll give it to him, okay, baby? Okay. Can you hold that? Okay, he'll be out in two seconds. Uh, just a couple of things. So this is going to air tonight on all the iHeart radio stations at 11 o'clock. Tell your friends, tell them to tune in. Y'all tune in. I like that. Um, <laughs> oh, wait. Never. Yo. I thought that <laughs> Once again, everybody makes some noise for the amazing Nas. Thank you. That was so much fun. It was cool. It was, it was cool? <laughs> no, it was real cool. You know, it's it cool. You yeah. got, are you out of breath? You know, right? You got wild hits, Nas. Uh, Your catalog is so catalog. strong. I got a cool catalog. Yeah. They love, love you, you. Love you. Love Somebody you. Somebody gave love me you. a gift for you. I'm going to put it on the side. Appreciate it. So it's crazy because on the way here, I was like, you know, I really want to talk about this album. Number one, it's the first time he's performing in New York, some of the joints. And also, number two, we really haven't, you haven't really talked about it since it's done. So I have a lot of questions about the album. All right. But then I was thinking about, and we saw all the classics tonight. You know, he got, he's been doing this for a little bit, Nas. Um, and I yeah. looked. And uh, Illmatic came out in 1994. Do you know how crazy it is for an artist to have 24 years and be this strong and this relevant in the game? Do you feel? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's because of you. Because of y'all. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> what, 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 is the, yeah. what is the biggest difference between Nas then and Nas now? Oh, man. <laughs> she said money. Well, there's more money. Um, you know. Let him answer the question. <laughs> Yo, I don't know. I mean, uh, you know, you you get you get older. You get. Uh, I got. You know, I got. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. It's like a blur. You know what I mean? It's just a blur. But. You know, it's it's a it's a good feeling at the same time. Yeah. You know? That's why I play like Frank Sinatra music. I know some some, some kids yeah. out there probably don't know it, but it's just that's what I listen to. You know what I'm saying? So I just threw that in the show and songs like Bon Jovi. Yeah. So I, it's just like my subject changed. I'm not I'm not where I was then. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah. Elevate, elevation. Yeah. Elevation. Yeah. Yeah. What's crazy is if you think about it, like, who was in the game when you started to now, like, to really have that career that long is dope. I know you was hanging out with Nori last night. Shout out to Nori. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Nori and the new album, 5E. Yeah, Isn't yeah. Isn't it so good to see him having this moment, too? Like, he's, Yo, you know, this he, platform he, and, yeah, yeah Yes, he's who he naturally is. His whole personality has is, is become something that's, like, you know, where everybody's buying into and loving, like, drink champs and... Just to see him do a new solo album. Shout out to Nori, 5E album comes out tomorrow. Yeah. 
That's love. Shout to Dave East, too, who's in the building. Shout to Dave East, yeah. What's crazy is um, Nas was on my show a few years back, and I had asked him about, like, who were the new artists, young artists he likes, and he mentioned Dave East. And Dave didn't even know that you was planning to work with him. He, like, found out on my show on the radio you was talking about him, right? Yeah, yeah. I, so I, I shouted him out, which could have just started a whole frenzy of people trying to sign him, and I, I didn't think about that. I was like... <laughs> But he, he, he's a solid dude, and uh, I'm glad we, we're business partners. Yeah. That's dope. Um, all right, so let's talk about... So everybody has Nasir, right? Of course, of course, of course, of course. So Thanks. let's talk about the album a little bit. So just take me to, to, the, to the decision to do this with Kanye in the first place. Man, he's one of the greatest... I want to work with the greatest producers in hip-hop. Mm -hmm. I had the opportunity to work with... Um, yeah. I had a had an opportunity to work with everybody from uh, DJ Premier to Dr. Dre. You know what I'm saying? So um, I was like probably the first New York guy really on some Dre stuff. And then I wanted to be. Um, we just have a mutual respect. I wanted to have an album by him. The only one that's not on his label or any business with him to have an album produced yeah. by him. I, I like doing things like that because creatively on a music side we can do whatever we want and it's like you know that's like a once in a lifetime kind yeah. of thing yeah so. so was it your did you reach out to him about it or he hit you up about you, it you know for years we've been talking about doing it oh. like this this has been a conversation for a couple of years got it's it. just like in passing like yo we got let's do an album and and kanye's like yo let's do it he's always been saying it but then this year it's like you made it happen yeah and then what is that process like when you're in the studio because you're I mean, I don't know Kanye probably as well as you, but you are very different type of personalities. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what it, it's true. <laughs> what is that like in the studio? Like, what is that process? And you're not it's, like a new artist. Like, you have your own, you know what I mean? Like, I think um, it's like when it comes to what he does, <laughs> I think it's like, it's, it's something. Like one on <laughs> <laughs> We want to know what it was like in crime. there. What does he work like? Is he? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the Virgo over there, whoever he is. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. You want the right. you want the man to answer the question? So, or no? so I forgot the questions, man. The question is: You in the studio with Kanye? Uh, you starting this project? What is the process like? Is, is it different for you? Is it, is he, did you, is it, um, I don't know, what is it? I was just waiting for the beats. The beats was already, yeah. you know, Pusha had his album. Yeah. Um, Cuddy and Tiana Taylor, they all were, had already started working. So I was like, I came in at the tail end and, and got it in. So I was really waiting. I was watching albums come out. I was sitting back, I'm watching another album come out. And I'm like, yo, dude, we got like one week and we just... But, he, but, but he's a, a professional when it comes to making beats. And when he did it, you watch him, and he's like he's working on different instruments, just watching him. And he, I don't even know how to bop my head as hard as he does to the beats. And so it's like he's, he just goes into the music, and it's like, wow. So it's good. And Dream was there, too. So Dream is singing on Adam and Eve. And, and it, it's like a lot of creative people in the, in the room. And, you know, Wyoming was weird for me. I was, was it weird? Yeah, it's beautiful it, people. It was weird to see you there. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> it was a little weird. It was a different crowd. Yeah, that was different. I'd never been there before. So yeah. that was an experience like, you know, that it was cool. It was good. It was good, yeah. So you're happy with how everything else. Because, yeah. you know, I had Tiana on the show recently, and she was telling me that the album, when it came out, was different than the version she had made. And I think for artists that are seasoned and as, you know, respected as you are, could you, like, was the, was the album what you, did he make changes without your consent and that type of thing that was happening? No. Nah. No, because that happens. He's the creative. He, he changed it in the last hour and then all of a sudden you hear but shit. We literally finished the, the, the like, 95 or 90% of the album, went to the park where I grew up in Queens to play the listening party. And... That experience, anybody that was, was there. That was a nice moment. It was like, it's where the hip hop, you was there cuz my man. Yo, so it was an experience cuz that's where it started like in the parks and stuff. So wanted to do it in the hood and make it real so that way the hood ain't gonna lie to you. If they feel it, they feel it. If they not, it's over. So 
I had to do it there because that's all like that's all I care about. Like as, as long as my people is getting what I'm trying to convey, and then that's all good. Yeah. What is um that was dope that you did that there. What is uh what are your favorite joints on the album? Adam and Eve, Cop yeah. Shot the Kid, um Everything. Everything, yeah, yeah. Everything. I love everything. I love everything too. That cop shot the kid beat that was crazy, right? So when you hear that, are you like, oh shit? And I know your Slick Rick means a lot to you. Big Slick Rick fan. Yeah, so when you hear that, what happens? It's crazy because he's Slick Rick's from here, like, or grew up here. Yeah. And a Chicago guy is sampling up a record that's right underneath a lot of producers up here noses. And it's yeah. like, I didn't see, like, how did he find that? And I not find that beat up here. So he's yeah. really dialed in to the sound and everything. So yeah, yeah he's. I yeah. mean, Kanye is. You know, he's a genius. He's Musical like, he, genius. Yeah, absolutely. Is was it? <laughs> she said it's a Gemini. He's also a Gemini. Are you a Gemini? He is a Gemini. Uh, <laughs> they want to just be involved. They just want to be part of the conversation. I feel ya. Yeah. It's live out it's there. It's a nice moment yeah. today. You say it's, everything is one of my favorite joints, by the way, in the album. So here's a couple of things. I was listening to that yes, yesterday on my way home. Um, and you talk about, I thought this was interesting. You talk about Lambos becoming average to you. Oh. Y'all is crazy. <laughs> they love you, Nas. What are you going to do? I love them. I love them, man. Yeah. This means a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind about that. Let's go to Adam and Eve. There's two things you said in Adam and Eve I thought were interesting. Number one, that you take morning walks. Do you really take morning walks every day? Not every day. Okay. <laughs> is that what, like, meditates you? And, yeah. and you know. Clear mind. You walk, is clear the phone, it just clears your mind. You get all kind of ideas, stuff like that. Is that when you right? take walks and stuff, yeah. So you just get up, you be by yourself, no security, you put a no, disguise? No, security, you, yeah. No. <laughs> you, you don't put a disguise on? Nobody checking for me like that in the streets. It's like, they've been seeing me for 20 years. So it's like, I, I, when I'm walking, it's, it's peaceful. It's, all, it's usually peaceful. You if know they stumbled on you on your morning walk... <laughs> huh? Come to Harlem? We're from Harlem. It's a birthday? A trainer? Oh, I can't hear y'all, man. We can't hear y'all. I come to Harlem. And Brooklyn. I, uh, and the Bronx. I love the Bronx. PX, what up? Yeah. I don't know if the, any of the ladies, uh, the ladies might like this question, but when I was listening to that same song, you also like admit that you have some sort of sexual addiction or something like that. Was that like a... <laughs> you said that in the song, Nas. Every man does oh. have love for making love, right? But check it out, check it out. <laughs> in hip hop music, everybody, you know, raps about you know, yeah. so I just threw that, <laughs> threw that in there just because it I'm just really, rhymed. It just, <laughs> I'm really boring. I just threw that in there just to spice up the rhyme, you know what I mean? And let's talk about my past. What do you mean? It, it was like sexual addiction, gangster. Uh, I was talking about uh, I used to. Yes. Like one girl every night, two girls was every other night. It's yeah. just old, it's the old, old the old, old Nas. Yeah, old Nas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not grown man. And that's, nice. that's like embellishing. That's embellishment. You know what I mean? When you write, you don't. Yeah. That was nasty Nas, 100%. <laughs> you have, set me up. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, you set me I have up. so many questions for nasty Nas, but we don't have time for that tonight. <laughs> we don't have enough time. There's not enough time. Yeah. You know what I think is dope about grown man Nas? What I'd love to see in your evolution, not just the music and just, I don't know, just your, you've always seemed very, like, comfortable in your skin and very, like, and it's been really nice to see you evolve um, as a businessman, too. You know, I know you have a lot of uh, ventures. T tell me a little bit about that, like, what you're most proud of and maybe, my, you know, I mean, a lot, like, apps and yeah. mass appeal and, yeah. I mean, all, you know. Sweet Chick. Sweet Chick. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, y'all know Sweet Chick. It's like an online pharmacy, too, right? Like, didn't you invest in something? There's, uh, I made pretty much over a hundred, more than a hundred investments. Wow. Because 
I teamed up with a good business partner, my man Anthony Soleil. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I, I roll with a lot of heart. He uses his mind. Together, we fill people out. We see who we want to do business with. And our thing is like to invest in people versus ideas. You know, because people, uh, uh, a, a smart person could turn a bad idea into a business. But the opposite could turn a good idea into a disaster. So that's kind of the philosophy we, we, we roll with. And Queensbridge Venture Partners is, was the perfect uh, moniker for the situation. So I was like, I've done music so long, and I'm watching, I'm meeting people. I'm watch you go play to a restaurant so much, you want one. You go to, you drink a certain thing so much, you want one. You, you, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I've been on a record company forever, so it's time that I'm on my own record label, Mass Appeal Records. So... This is what it's all about. Ownership, you know what I'm saying? So, from, yeah. from that point, like from a business point, like you said, you got restaurants and all these investments. What do you think is like, the, what are you most proud of? Or what is the biggest thing you think as a businessman that? Yo, um, it's, 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 it's not always money. It's, it's always like meeting people that, that want to change the world. And when I, when I meet somebody that I, I can see that the energy in them is like, they believe, they're confident in what they want and they, and they have a vision for what they want that's outside of the box, that's not what everybody else is thinking. I, I like people like that, they inspire me and I want to, I want to talk to that person. I want to spend time and learn and then just learning and meeting new people and building up businesses from here to here. I like, I like watching that. That's dope. Um, Thank you, man. <laughs> I don't know how. God is good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, all the time. All God, the time. Is, God is God is good, man. Hundred percent. Because it it was a it was a try. It was crazy during the time. I don't know how I made it. Sometimes it's like I remember certain times. Like how did I not hit that wall? How did I not do this? How, someone was there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The whole yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah, you are blessed. You too, man. Yeah. And you've been a blessing to a lot of people, you know, like a, an inspiration to a lot of people. I think your music touches people in a way that actually, you know, changes people's lives and, and inspires them on a different level. That must feel like a blessing, too, in itself to be able to do that, right? Absolutely, man. It, 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 it's like to, to, to be someone, have someone relate to you, man, that's, it's like you know you're doing, it, you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. Yeah. It's a great feeling. Yeah. 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 Do your kids realize... <laughs> who you are. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I know your daughter has businesses and stuff like that too, but they, they look at you like, oh, shit, my dad's Nas. <laughs> she, yeah, she don't got no time for me. She's she don't a, care. <laughs> she, she's a businesswoman that has a cosmetic line called Lipmatic. And my son, he just turned nine mm. on the 22nd. Wow. So he wants to build tents and go camping and fishing and dig up dinosaur bones. <laughs> Yeah. That's your life. So yeah, so that's that. He yeah he does he's like yeah whatever dad uh, let's go let's go find some bones let's go dig <laughs> let's go get let's learn about this he he he's a he's a cool cat so <laughs> that's dope yeah all right so what's next Nas <laughs> have you thought about that yet or are you just still in the glory of Nasir yeah I'm in the I'm in the middle of that and um she wants I'm to know in, about uh, Nicki Minaj. <laughs> <laughs> So, like I was saying, um, <laughs> I, I like to, um, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I just want to do, yeah, it's another album that, that, that I've always, already have been working on one before Kanye already had, had some, had some like real. Oh, so it's coming. There's another one in the. I'm now, but since I did this, I gotta do something that you know that goes in another direction a little bit. So I'm, I, I, I'm like finishing up the the next one. Yeah. So it won't be that long. No, it's not gonna be that long because wow. half of it was already, already there. Right. Yeah. Wow. I, yeah. That's I did. To look I did do for. something with Swizz. I did stuff with RZA. I'm a big Wu Tang fan, so yeah. you know. Yeah, Riz is ill. It's ill. Yeah. I'm so sorry, but they're gonna wrap us up, and we got we could do this all night. 
It's been a long time. It's, it's been, been a long, long time, time yeah. man. Please don't let it be this long moving forward. They, you know what I mean? You made everybody wait too long. <laughs> That's why I got another record coming because it's been six years. So I was just busy like doing a lot of stuff that kept me. And uh, so now all the time that went by is dope because it's like now I get to do it from another, another level. I get to yeah. make music from... Uh, uh, older point of view is kind of that's where I want it. I can't know? wait. Yeah, thank you. I can't wait. Thank you. Thank you. Please, everybody, make some thank noise you. for Nas, man. Seriously, thank you for the show. Thank you for being part of this. Thank you so much to Verizon for yeah. bringing Nas to this thank amazing you, Verizon. event. Thank you, Verizon. Our heart. Our Radio Live. Thank you Records. so much. Yeah. Please, everybody, be safe out there. Be Again, safe out there. Nice see y'all. Good night. Sign. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, 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 oh. Are we off? Are we off? Wait, 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 wait. Who has a One, pin? two, one, two. I want to be able to add this. There's a hashtag. I want you guys, if you post tonight, please share so we can see them. The hashtags tonight are... I heart Nas, hashtag I heart Nas, and hashtag Verizon. So hashtag Verizon, hashtag I heart Nas, and we'll look for all your photos and share them. And don't forget to be tuned in to uh, 11 o'clock tonight to check out I Heart Radio Live with Nas. Thank you again, everybody. Have a good night. <laughs>